Hi, I'm Valerie, and today I am going to do a video uh, about sunlight science curriculum. I'm doing an unboxing. I just got my box in the mail today. I have, I have, um, you know, torn through the tape, but I haven't opened it up to see the contents. I wanted to do that and record it for you because uh, sunlight is a brand new curriculum for me to use. I've been homeschooling for 15 years, so I'm starting my 16th year. I still have four kids left at home. My oldest graduated in 2017. 2017. My um, uh, second oldest is graduating this year. He'll be a senior. And so um, I only have a handful of kids uh, left to try new things with. But I think you're never too old to try something new, to try new curriculum. I think it's wonderful to try new curriculum and to breathe life into your homeschool. If you do the same materials the same way year after year after year you can get so dry and bored and your kids can get that way too and I'm always trying to find good ideas um, and things to try with the kids new new programs new books new materials so first of all a little background sunlight curriculum is a literature based curriculum uh, I have known about it for years I have ordered readers for them uh, I've gotten uh, books to do read alouds because I do enjoy reading aloud to my kids um, so I'm familiar with a little bit with their program. The reasons I haven't done it till now or tried any of it till now is number one, um, because it's literature based, there's tons of books and a ton of read alouds. Uh, now granted, you can combine ages. They go by levels or ages and not grades. So you could have two kids in the same level and they can listen to the same read alouds and um, you know even read the same books and things like that. Uh, do the same science experiments excuse me, but um, they, you know, they're not the same grade or the same age, but they can kind of fall under this umbrella. I, I never really knew, to be honest with you, how to make that work for my kids. They were all three years apart, except for my two daughters in the middle. And so I didn't really see how I could combine, and I, I knew I wouldn't have time to do read-alouds for all of my children that were in school and then take care of my babies that were in diapers. So it was too big of a, of a commitment too overwhelming for me at that time uh, and part of homeschooling is not only knowing what's good for your kids because I know my kids would have really loved it but it also has to be a right fit for the mom or the dad whoever's doing the homeschooling so it just wasn't a right fit for me then also the price was pretty high to, to get the whole program uh, and if you were needed to get more than one level it was prohibitive they do offer payment plans and things like that but it was still just way beyond my means at that time my budget so that's why I didn't try it till till now now um, I recently was online doing some searching, so I heard about Bookshark um, from a, a mom, Candace on Homeschool on the Hill, did, has done lots of reviews on Bookshark. Bookshark gives her the materials for free, and then she reviews them. Uh, I was ready to order Bookshark. I was on their website, I was looking over their science materials, and I was ready to order. And then I listened to one of Candace's videos where she explains that Bookshark is faith neutral. Another way of saying secular. Uh, I really don't have a problem with that, to be honest with you. But then she also said sunlight curriculum is a Christian-based curriculum. It's it's the same. It, she didn't say this this way. But basically, after doing my, comparis, my own comparisons between the two programs, many of the books are the same. But uh, sunlight includes books that have some spiritual references, and they're certainly not against uh, books that have spiritual references, whereas Bookshark probably would not include those materials. The box that I got today is uh, Science F uh, for girls, because there's a girls and a boys for this um, level. Uh, it's, I got the four-day program, but Sunlight offers a five-day and a four-day program. The reason I um, ordered the four days is because it, uh, for a lot of the weeks of the school year, we do a co-op on Mondays. So um, this will be nice that I don't, you know, what I have to do with their other materials is we have to uh, divide the work for Monday across the rest of the week and so um, this way I don't have to worry about that with this it's already done for me I'm gonna open it up and and just and see it I wanted to oh one more thing I wanted to show you this is the only Usborne book I've ever paid for okay it's the complete Shakespeare and it's for kids and it's beautiful you can see uh, all of Usborne's books I think are, are basically this way full color shiny glossy pages I've never used it because I have not been able to incorporate the reading in with what we're doing with our other our other curriculum. 
and I hate that because I want to read it. It looks like a beautiful book. I think it would be a great way to introduce Shakespeare. I don't know. Maybe you guys can tell me how to how to get that to fit that in with what I'm already doing. <laughs> but anyway, that's that's the only Usborne book I've ever paid for. I've been given some. Again, haven't really utilized them. So, all right. So let's open this. Sorry for all that chatter. All right. So have my list here. Lots of wrapping. Okay. So, in the box I have a stack of materials. Here they are. So, remember this is just the science program. Sunlight offers a lot of, a lot of other materials. Okay, Unlocking the Mystery of Life. This was something I'm pretty sure was not included in the uh, Bookshark version of this science. By the way, this science uh, is health, medicine, and human anatomy. That's what this year is going to focus on. At least that's my understanding. Obviously, we haven't done it. I'll let you know. But um, so, yeah, DVD uh, from a Christian perspective. So that that is nice. Okay, Almost Twelve by Kenneth Taylor. Um, not really sure. Looks like it's discussing from just panning through it. It looks like it's discussing the changing body puberty, adolescence. So we'll see. I don't know. Again, I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I um, I will let you know what I think and how we use these books through the year. Um, this one is Survival Skills. Improve your sur survival skills. I have read very good things about this book. Um, that it's not just like, when I think of survival skills, I think of like you're in the woods and you need to, you know, know how to start a fire. And it, I think it includes that information as well as uh, other information like if your house catches on fire things like that that's my understanding but again I'll keep you posted food and nutrition for every kid so yeah this looks interesting it looks like there are um, some activities to do with that uh, the care and keeping of you uh, this is a body book for girls this is again a book this this is the one because it's a girls program you get this book if you had selected boys you would have gotten a similar book um, about for boys, their bodies. So I think that'll be really good information. Uh, my daughter is a little bit on the older end of the spectrum for this level, but because she's interested in the human body and anatomy, she was wanting to take the Apologia human anatomy course that they offer, but she did part of that with our co-op already. So if we did it again, some of it would be totally the same thing again, literally. We used that material. Uh, so uh, that's why I, I selected this level of the sunlight. The next one's Blood and Guts, A Working Guide to Your Own Insides. Uh, the reviews I've read of this book are excellent. They have lots of experiments to do about the human body, which I think will be very interesting. Um, this is an Usborne book, Your Brain. And did I already show another Usborne book? I think this is the first one that I've gotten out of the box. Uh, Understanding Your Brain. Uh, lifting the lid on what's inside your head. Um, so yeah, like all their books, it looks like it's really full of lots of information. Another Usborne book. Oh, this one looks really good. The Usborne Complete Book of the Human Body. That's nice. This this is very nice, good quality. And I have you know lots. Of, I know lots of people selling Usborne books, and that's great but I don't know how to use them because I'm a busy mom with lots of kids at different ages and I I don't have time to just like say, hey, let's read this random book. So hopefully this will help me to, you know, to really know how to utilize these books and materials and use the ones I already own. Okay, now this is, I think, the important part of the, well, the, the spine of the program, you could say. This is the teacher's guide, the instructor's guide. Obviously, I need to get a binder for it. Um, but my understanding is that this includes the lesson plan, so it tells us when to read each of these books, um, how many pages a day, uh, etc. And then this also includes worksheets. So, okay, it looks like on the back there it says questions. Our advisors have answers. Oh, good. I may be contacting an advisor. <laughs> All right, I wonder if they advise just about sunlight or life. We'll see. Anyway, I'll let you know. <laughs> okay. Oh, here, here we go. Ages. This says science. This is the four day and it says ages 10 through 13. So she's 12. 
Um, so that she'll be at the upper end of that spectrum. So I hope it's not too babyish. This work is not too babyish. From the samples of the worksheets that I viewed on their website, which you can do, you just have to sign up for their emails and they'll let you download samples uh, on sunlight.com. Um, you, you can see kind of how the worksheets are and the, the work didn't look like it would be beneath her level. So, you know, that's all I use to judge it. I also liked that these are color worksheets. Isn't that nice? So, um, okay. And so I don't, you know, I don't know. I will have to go through this and see, see what all is involved in it. And I don't want to bore you while I stare at it. So that's what I got in the box. I will let you know I'm excited about it. I'm excited that this in curriculum includes a variety of books to read from, and also uh, it includes experiments that we can do now. A lot of their science um, curriculum kits come with um, lab uh, supplies. Like if, if there's some kind of chemical you need for a, an experiment that they call for, they would give you that because it's hard to get. But if it's just household items, my understanding is you just get those you know, yourself. And I think all of the experiments that my daughter will be doing involve household things that I will. And I'm pretty sure in the instructor's guide, they tell you like what you need to pick up. So you can do that in advance and kind of have a heads up. And uh, you don't have to spend uh, weeks planning your lessons. I, my, I believe all of that is right here in these pages. So anyway, there it is. We're embarking on an entirely new uh, adventure in our household. So I will keep you posted.